Hello and welcome to episode 18 of my Folktale Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on looking at uh, one of the quest chains. New settlers have arrived. Um, over here on the right you can see that we've got two t quests that we can choose from. We can either do the Withering Dead or the Glade Folk. So what I thought I'd do, um, this is episode 18, I'm probably going to go to 20 episodes with Folktale and give it then a chance to accumulate more content. Have or maybe I might go a little over, I don't know. But what I do want to do is I've shown you a good portion of the um, city management or village management, you know, building up all the different buildings and I have that's where my fun is playing this. But also there is a good reason for doing the quests, as you're gonna see, because at the moment Our we've village has attracted new settlers. We've got Sir Gregory and Quicks, but we can get more heroes to control. And which heroes we get decides on which quest chain we do. So I thought why not show you y'all both quest chains. So I'm going to show you the Withering Dead, a little bit of that, and then the one that I will do is the Glade Folk. Um, I don't know though. New settlers have I'll just show you both. So this episode will be on us looking at the Withering Dead and talking to Mordred. Now you'll see there's two quest chains, uh, arrows. One's going this direction, one this direction. Our town is under attack. This one is the Glade Folk. This one is the Withering Dead. So we're going to go and do the Withering Dead and take a look at it. Settlers have arrived looking for a fresh start. I'm ignoring all my stats up here uh, at the moment. They seem to be okay. So I'm going to ignore them now and just focus on the, doing the quest bit. So if I scroll all the way over here, you'll see there's this cathedral. This is the desecrated cathedral and I'm going to with honor just I've selected New villagers have both of my heroes by clicking this select whole party and then just right click here so they're going to make their way over and then we're going to enter the desecrated cathedral and take a look at this quest here they come the enemy is in our village our town is under attack. Okay, so to choose, you'll notice as soon as I go in here, the Glade Folk quest disappears. So let's do this. We right click the door and left click enter. Our village has attracted new settlers. Enter the desecrated cathedral. The other one is just the world map. Uh, so let's do that. Okay, so here you go, you see the Glade folks gone now, so now we are stuck with doing this quest, Jane. So now next we need to speak to Mordridge, which is further in here. Onward! There are items. Come to Daddy! There are items you can gather as you go. Oh, you can hear Mordridge, so let's go through here. So we got to do this lever. And then in Tally ho What's this? A foolish mortal come to help Mordrick, gatekeeper of the plane of shadows? Or a new customer, perhaps, here to settle my fine wares? Come now, step forth and let yourself be known. Impressive, but I can't help but notice the shoddy footwear you have on. You must be a new customer, no? Sure, I can look past the terrible working conditions and the blatant disregard for worker rights. How do I get me a shiny new pair of magic sandals? <laughs> it is quite comical what we they say. We seem to be experiencing a minor production delay. It's so difficult to reanimate workers from lost souls and rotten bones. Say, maybe we can strike a deal. If you get my machines up and running again, I'll see you get the very next pair with extra sparkle. <laughs> How nice is that? Um, let's try this sweeten the deal and I could be persuaded. Sweeten the deal? 
How about this? We keep the original deal, and I don't disavow you and use you to make limited edition sandals. Is that sweet enough? <laughs> I'm guessing that is. Take this engine room key. Go and find Brom. He'll know what to do. And tell that worthless bag of bones to hurry up. Okay, so we've now got this quest to do. Speak with Brom in the engine room. So let's go do that. He's just over here, in fact. Quick march! I wish I could turn down Sir Gregory's voice. I wish I could mute him, in fact. But anyway, let's go in here. And let's right click on Brom. Okay, now Brom can't speak, but he will tell us that. Pun intended, of course. Mortals alive. Mordred must have sent you to help. <clears throat> About time too. I'm in over my skull here. <laughs> they don't leave out any chance for humour. What seems to be the problem? Ah, blue. Mm. Bleeding things kaput. That's what happens when you buy second-hand gears from goblins. Shady creatures not to be trusted. Okay, so he's saying now, this damn cog's fallen off and shattered. I have a, I have a spare somewhere, but can't for the life of me, well, life <laughs> of me, remember where I put it. Do you think you could find it? Of course. I'll be back before you can say anything. Um... So, yeah, do that, and we're being sarcastic, of course, because he can't speak, but never mind. Oh, because I'm incapable of proper speech, I see, how clever. Just because I'm undead doesn't mean you should trample my feelings like a field of ever bloom. The undead have emotions too, you know. Okay, so we got to find this key. And if we go in here... Onward! And you can see this glowing little pot. They shall not pass. There we go. So we we now got to return to Brom. So it's very easy. By your leave. You found it. That's bleeding marvellous. Give me a moment and I'll have this rust bucket up and running in no time. Mordred will be pleased. Go and tell him. Gertrude is firing on all cylinders, but the stocks of Everbloom are running low. Okay, so now we need to go back to Mordred. With honour. Back so soon? My, my. With the machines up and running again, my coffers will once again be as they were meant to be. Overflowing. Here are the samples I promised. With a little extra magic added. So I'm going to see if I can find these sandals, because they're supposed to be good. Um, let's remember what they look like, so it's like purple at the bottom. I may have need for someone of your calibre around here. If you're looking for work, speak to Lilith in the office. Okay, let's click end on that. Okay, so that's the first part of that, uh, the quest chain done for Mordridge. But let's check out where these sh shoes are. Old sandals, I should say. These magic... Oh, there they are. Cloth sandals, common, two armour. Complete and utter rubbish. So, what's supposed to be good about them? Right, okay, well, let's show you something else. So, that's my village inventory. Now, I've not noticed this before, but let's take Sir Gregory as an example. If we click on his invent character sheet bag... You will notice up here next to the cross is a hand icon and it says assign gear and what it will do and this is the super cool you can now go through your heroes click this and watch what happens 
How cool. No more having to go through checking each individual armor, AC, uh, or what else stats it's got, comparing it, blah, blah, blah. You just simply click this button now. That is just so cool. Love that. Right, let's switch to quicks and do the same. There you go. He's got the magic sandals. How lucky is Quix? He's got a whole two poxy armor put to his poxy AC class. I'm sure it must make some difference, surely. Anyway, so that's really cool. They've put in now this assign. I've never seen it before. Perhaps it was there, but this is the first time I've ever seen that. And I think it's really cool. So let's continue on then. Enough waffle. So now we've got to find L Lilith in the office. which we can see is down here so if we scroll if i scroll this way and this way uh put them here as you wish i think there's a door that i've got her open Okay, and here's Lilith, so let's talk to her. You were there when I dealt with that bandit scum, weren't you? You must be the one that fixed the generator. Brom mentioned that you were rather insensitive about his inability to speak. Hurt his feelings again and I will rip off your arms and strangle you with them. Oh, nice. Now that we've established personal boundaries, there's something I need your help with. A group of meddling blade folk have been attacking our Everbloom harvesters. Needless to say, we can't afford further delays in production. These tree-hugging blade folk need to disappear before they become a problem. So you and Brom are married? Oh, Brom, my love. He was taken from me by a group of bandits long ago. Yes, the same bandits you were after when we first met. That is what happens to those who harm Brom, physically or emotionally. Remember that. Why are the Glade folk attacking? Those selfish fairies don't like sharing their precious Everbloom. Our harvesting gangs take a little every once in a while to power the generator, and the Glade folk get all upset about it. Everbloom is life! The Glade sustains us, blah, blah, blah. We really like plants. You can't have any. We have the power to heal your poor husband, but we refuse to help you. Don't pay them any attention. They're just a bunch of soft-hearted whiners with no appreciation for progress or human life. Now, as we know, there are some great character actors, <coughs> voiceover character actors in this game. But for the life of me, I cannot put a person to that voice, a picture of them in my mind. Um, that's how good they do this, uh, their voice, I guess, because I just can't visualise... Um, obviously this is a woman. I can't visualise any woman talking like that. I guess she's changing her voice for the part, but job well done. Anyway, so... Let's go talk to the hippies. Meet me on the surface and we'll go talk to them. Nicely, of course. Bring something sharp. <laughs> yeah, that's quite funny. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got to meet Lil Lilith near the glade. So let's highlight them. And where we need to go now is down here, back to this door. Orders received. <clears throat> and so we're done in the cathedral for now. And let's go out. So remember, you can't take your militia into caves and into the desecrated cathedral and areas, zones, where you have to... Um, when, whenever you see this option, 
<coughs> oh, there's the flipping timer. Whenever you see these buttons appear, so with the world map or enter that area, that's, have arrived looking for a fresh start. that's telling you that your militia are not going with you, so it's only going to be your heroes. But where we're now going, As you come, man. where this quest now is to meet Lilith, we can now use our, our, militia, is under attack. our militia. And trust me when I tell you, you're going to need every last militia you've you got settlers have arrived. in order to do this next bit. Because down in the cathedral there, you'll notice it was very simple. Just a case of walk here, go there. But up here, it's a lot more brutal. Now it's suddenly um, fight these creatures, and they're very tough. And you're going to get your butts kicked. Um, so make sure you've got lots of militia. Settlers or, have arrived looking for a fresh start. Or troops. So let's, let's just show you. So if we go up here, I know the time has gone. In fact, no, let's not ruin it. I will, the time has gone. In the next episode, we'll continue on with this Stark. Our village has attracted new settlers. With the Mordridge chain, I do want to show you what, um, what hero you get from doing the Mordridge chain. I mean, that's the whole point, isn't it, of me doing episodes, is uh, showing you different components and parts of the game. Because um, it might be a load of you don't want to do the Mordridge side, so... You at New settlers I'll, have arrived. I'll at least be showing you what what you get if you did do it. So there we go. Right, okay, I'm going to end it here. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. And we will go and meet Lilith near the Glade in the next episode. Goodbye.